Well, hello, my car crew. I would like to say welcome to my new apartment. Um, I am currently redoing this whole thing for my apartment, and I wanted to show you what I got today on sale um, before I revamp it. So let me show you. I got this little one right here, and the drawers are back there. And I also got these drawers for this one. Um, this one's pretty tall. Like if I walk up to it, it goes right here like to my chest. Um, but what I really love about it is that I literally got these guys for $5. Um, someone was trying to move out of their home and they really didn't want to mess with moving them. And um, when I, cause I'm on a super budget. So when I was asking them like what they would want um, as far as like compensation for them, um, they actually wanted $30 to begin with. Um, but I'm on a super budget. So I was like, okay, well then thank you very much. And he's like, but you know what, just take them, whatever, like take them. So I ended up buying these two pieces of furniture, which are freaking amazing for $5. <laughs> um, one of my sorority sister's husbands or boyfriends helped me um, move them into my apartment and I told them just to leave them here in the living room because I literally am going to revamp them. Um, but I really don't know what I wanna do with them yet. Um, these are really pretty, like if you see the corners of them, they're very nice. So, um, I don't want to do something, but they are very like scuffed. Like if you see this, this is not dirt. It's oh, that is dirt. Okay, so this is not dirt. Um, but I mean, for five dollars, this isn't dirt either. So um, you can't really go wrong for five dollars, yo. Like these are strong. So I think what I'm gonna do is look up how to DIY. You know me. Whoever knows me knows that I love a good deal and a good DIY. And right now, that's what I'm doing. That's why I look crazy because I literally put on this t-shirt and was like, I need to just figure it out myself. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna start with this small one and then work my way up to the bigger, bigger one. Um, I'll probably start by sanding it off a little bit, obviously wiping them down. But what I wanna show you first is how I, um, how they look already assembled. And this is what they look like together, like put together. You see a little bit of like the tracks came off on some of them, but they still open really well. And like this detail is sort of broken. You can tell it's an antique, but it's been like really well loved. Like it's, yeah, but like I said, a little bit of cleaning and painting can always revamp it. There were some of the dressers that had some of like, this one has like a difference in the color if you can tell get out of the way see and um this one right here sorry about that i ran out of memory so you see the difference in the color right there and that little damage but i mean i can't really go wrong for five dollars look at the detail right there in the corner once it's dusted off it does have some of the markings and that you can tell them you can see them better in person um so they're pretty deep in their little grooves and they're missing knobs but $5 is not bad at all, and so I'm super excited to be able to revamp this one because this is my first time revamping a drawer chest or any drawers for myself, and I really needed them. Another thing is that some of the tracks broke, so these are two of the tracks that I have, and I have a friend that really knows how to fix things, so I'm going to have um, him help me with that. Um, and maybe, but even when the drawers, when the when the tracks broke, none of the drawers stopped working. Like they still come out really well and go back really well. So I really don't have a problem with them, even if they don't get fixed. Um, this little detail right here, I might see if I could take it all off. Oh, and there goes a the little thing. Yeah, I can take it off. I just have to be careful with, if you can see the nail right there. Just have to be careful with where the nails go. And um, Definitely, I'm super excited, guys. Like, you don't even know. I really needed this drawer chest because my, like I said, the way my um, apartment's set up, it's completely different than my old apartment. So there is, the way that I used to um, put my clothes away, it's not gonna work out this way, <laughs> the way that I would want it to. But 
stay tuned if you want to see how they turn out. Hopefully they look amazing and I'll show you later. Okay guys, so I went ahead and sanded this slightly. I'm really zoomed. Sanded this slightly so that this would be a little bit more rough. I went ahead and just sort of like swipe different colors down there. I wanted it to look a little bit more rustic. And then, and yep, fun. And then I did it to my drawers as well. They're over there drying. I wanted to sort of match this little like um, fat head that I have here. And that way it'll look amazing. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree. And I also wanted to sort of go with this um, design that I have on my bedspread. But I'll show you a little bit more once I'm a little bit further into my design. And that way y'all can sort of get more of an idea of what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah. So here's a little bit of an update. I need to go over these colors because even though they're opaque, they don't really adhere very well. So even if you like um, sort of still like put them all, oh, this is a little bit wet. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so yeah you have to let them dry before they start streaking again and you guys know i need you guys know i have i need to be a little bit extra so i went ahead and put some of these intricate designs by myself because the other ones were hard to do i tried it see that's why it's a little bit stained because i went ahead and wiped it off um but i'm gonna clean this off and then um right here these little flowers are really don't have to be perfect they're not perfect on the bedspread um but i just really i'm gonna put stuff on here so i mean regardless of what i would want to be on here i'm gonna have to put like my wax warmer and all that stuff so it does not need to be perfect but i'm gonna go ahead and clean this off like i said and then i'll show you guys when i'm a little a little bit further in the whole process so this is the progress that I've done on it so far. Um, I am letting it dry because every time the orange dries, it gets really sheer. And I wish I wouldn't have put it there, but I guess it was a really nice combination color right there. Um, I probably want to put more detail right here, but I'm letting it all dry because then like all this paint stuff happens to my hands. Um, right here, I did put some gold, if you can see, and some little like details of flowers. I wanted to put some more purple. Probably, I wanted to bring the purple here, but then it got a little bit messy. So what I wanted to do is bring in a little bit of purple here, see what happens. And yeah, like this is just the top of it. I am gonna seal it with some um, with some clear coat, but we'll see how it turns out, and hopefully I'll like it in the end. So because I didn't show you how I did the sides or the drawers, I'm going to show you a little bit. So I took a lot of acrylic paints. In this case, it's like yellow, green, purple, um, orange. I skipped the blue because I only used it in the front and the baby blue. And then I got like the metallic one. So I went ahead and of course I sanded down the, the drawer so you can see it there. But I only did it like scoring it. I really didn't get to any lighter parts. I only got to lighter parts in certain parts like right here and right there. But it's because I didn't really want there to be any rhyme or reason. So you load up your brush and it's not a lot of paint. But you lightly sort of just like wherever you want the color. And you don't want any rough edges. So like if you have any square just like this. I would put like another color or like smear that same color out and basically just layer them. Um, I wanted mine to look very colorful and whimsical. This part I'm not really concentrating on only because we're really not going to see it. Um, but this part I do want like some color to go in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the metallic. Ah! Okay, I'm only I'm doing this on my phone, guys. So I'm going to do this and just sort of I wanted to do a little bit of metallic here. And a little metallic there. And see, if you, like, brush it on, the metallic is a little bit more see-through than all the other paints. So you see how this glob is right here? I'm going to, like, bring it down and just smear it. And honestly, there is no rhyme or reason. Some of the paint is going to get mixed up, which is amazing. But you want to go all the same direction um, and sort of just get rid of some of these edges um, by swiping up a little bit and make, getting some of that paint out of there. But that's about it, and you get this really cool effect. Um, it's super simple, and it's really original. We are finally done with the nightstand, guys. Look at that. So I went ahead and put the um, hardware that it came with. Obviously, it's missing some, so I'm going to have to find some at the store, um, which I had planned anyways because I really didn't like the hardware. Um, but this is a top. I went ahead and put um, a glossy taco, like you no know, logical says. Um, and that's the side. I went ahead and used the Krylon um, Max. 
on the top I put about three um, layers on the sides I put one and in the front on the drawers I put two only because I know that there's gonna be stuff on here and I don't want this to get ruined um, and this part I put two because I know I'm gonna be touching the drawers um, it looks pretty good on the sides it looks really 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 unique i know i'm not gonna find anything like this at any store which is really cool and hopefully y'all like it um for the big one i and i actually have decided to just make it with these lines but with gold and silver and copper and see how it comes out and i'll show you guys